Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met, hi, you can call me Chanan, and this is my channel. And today I'm super excited because today I'm sharing one of the videos that has more views on my channel. So I guess you really like it. So I'm excited to share it again with you. And as you can see in the title, today we're having the nail polish project pan. I don't know the official name of this project, but I think that's the name I use. I don't know who's the creator of this project, but I saw it for the first time in Christina Chang's uh, channel. So I'll leave her channel down below in the description box. Uh, but yeah, there are plenty of people doing this project on YouTube. And to be honest, it's kind of fun and it's kind of different. So I really enjoy doing it. And yeah, today we have a different update. Not as exciting as other um, updates, but I'm excited to share it anyway. If you're not familiar with this project, the whole point of this project is to use up as many nail polishes as, as possible on a year. And in my case, I'm trying to finish my older nail polishes, but also I'm trying to reduce the amount of non-cruelty free items that I have. But there I have something to say because to be honest, I bought a couple of non cruelty free nail polishes on June. Or it was in July. No, it was in July. So yeah, I failed that. I'm trying to go cruelty free on my beauty products. And at least for me in makeup and hair care, it's really easy. I have plenty of options. But in skincare and nail polishes, it's not as easy here in my country. And I found a sale from OPY nail polishes. Uh, usually they are pretty expensive, but I found some packs that are that were pretty affordable, so I couldn't resist and I ended up buying them. I don't know, I wish we had more options in the nail polishes here in my country, but it's not the case. But yeah, I want to make that clear because maybe you'll see those nail polishes in the future. But yeah, let's try not to make this introduction any longer and let's start with the actual video. Right now I'm working in five nail polishes. Two of them because they are my older on my collection and the other three because are non quality free items. And now it feels kind of weird to do that when I bought more non quality free nail polishes. But let's try not to judge. <laughs> but yeah, I, there are a couple of products that I haven't used at all since the last update. And others that I don't have a great progress. But let's start with the video. Let's start with the product that I haven't used at all since the last update. And that is my Love Glam Love Nail Polish. This is a golden nail polish, but it works like a topper. Like it doesn't have pigment at all. Just the uh, tiny particles. This was a gift with purchase in like 2014 or something like that. So it's really, really old. Definitely it's my older nail polish. And for some reason, I haven't been using it. You can see that we're here and we haven't moved at all because I haven't used it like in the last four months. And we have a long way to go and I definitely need to finish this nail polish this year or declutter it because I don't know how safe is for your nails to use such an old nail polish I'm pretty sure it's not recommendable but yeah with this one I think I'll try to set a goal to use it at least twice before next update because otherwise this is not going to move at all I feel like I was more inspired to use this product back in summer because I like to use it with some yellow nail polishes, but now in winter I don't feel like wearing a lot of yellows. So yeah, maybe in summer will be easier for me to use it, but definitely this product <laughs> cannot go with me to 2022. The next product that I have, I haven't used a lot either, and I think it's because, again, it's a color that I feel more inspired to use in summer and spring, and that is this nail polish. This is a Peruvian brand, I'm pretty sure, and it's a prismatic or prismatic or however you call it, uh, pink nail polish. It's the one I'm using today over 
um, pink nail polish and I really like it to be honest but again I haven't used it because pinks on winter it's I don't feel like using pinks on winter even if I'm using a pink sweater today but yeah this product I think it will be really easy to finish when I start actually using it because it's a mini it only has like five milliliters when usually nail polishes has like eight milliliters so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to finish it this year but i don't know i haven't used it that much but i'm okay with that i'm using it more than i will use it if it wouldn't be in a project i don't know if i use the conditional there correctly but i think you got the idea the next two nail polishes that I have, I have only used twice since the last update, but to be honest, I'm okay with that. I think that every time that I do my nails, I'm using these nail polishes, so maybe it's not a lot, but for me, at least, it's okay. And I think since this point, I have some pictures to share with you of the nail styles that I've been doing. And to be honest, I've been feeling really inspired uh, watching the reels that Lights Lacquer, I think it's called, the brand from Kathleen Lights. I've been feeling really inspired by their ideas for nail polishes. So first, I have this nail polish. This is a future uh, shade from a brand that I'm pretty sure is from Argentina, but I'm not sure. And this one, it's it has been really hard to track because the tube is like super full. Like it's not only like over here, it's like even higher. I don't know how to explain that. But now I'm able to see that the product is over here. So it's it looks brand new, but I swear it's not brand new. I have used it twice and one of those times I did a really fun style of nails that I'll leave the picture over here. I saw the idea in the Light Slacker Instagram and I had to use a bag to do it and it was really fun. I didn't love the colors that I use but I used this one and I really like the effect that I got. Since this product has been really hard to track, last month I weighed it so we can see the change in the weight. So I'll leave that over here. And with two uses, it's not a lot, but we have a difference. So that's good and we can track the progress maybe in a better way here. But maybe now that I was able to do a mark, maybe it will be easier to track the progress like with tallies. Maybe, we'll see. Next, another nail polish that I have only used twice since last update, and actually I rolled this in last update, is this black nail polish. It's from the same brand than the one before, and I really like using black nail polishes in winter. This one I especially like to use with a glitter that I have on my Baby Got Peach palette. I think it's called Hungry Ghosts or something like that. That glitter is so pretty, but I don't feel comfortable using it on my eyes, so I use it on my nails. You will be seeing a picture over here, but I really enjoy, <laughs> especially in winter, to use black nail polish. I just really enjoy it. I have only used it twice, and I'm not able to do a mark for what I said with the last one. Maybe by next update, we will be able to see where the product is, but right now, we're not able to see that at all, but in the same way that the last one I waited last month and you will be seeing the change in the weight over here. But I think I have used like around a gram of product, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that, especially because I have only been using it for a month, so that's cool for me. And lastly, we have the product that I have used the most since the last update and in general in the last couple of months because for me this color is just perfect for winter and that is this burdeo do you have a word for that how do you call burdeo huh i have no idea but this color it's called cherry jubilee jubilee i don't know how to pronounce that 
I have used it five times since last update and that is like last month so I have used it a lot because as I said I really enjoy these kind of colors on winter and I feel like it really suits me but I'm hoping I'm going to be able to finish it in like two months first because with the progress that we have had since the beginning I think we're going to be able to do it in around two months but also because I know once we're in spring here and we have warmer weather I won't want to use this product yeah this one is not going to 2022 with me either uh, but yeah I'm really enjoying this product but oh my god it has 12 milliliters that's a lot how much do you have they still have 12 milliliters. It's a lot of product. Oh my god, that's a lot. Uh, but yeah, um, what I was saying. I got distracted with the amount of product that this one has. Oh, I was saying that this product is really old on my collection too. Not as old as the golden one. But it has like 5 years on my collection. So again, I really want to use it. I think after these two products, my older nail polishes are like two years, so that's okay for me. But I need to finish up this one for those two reasons, because it's sold and because I know I won't use it at all in summer and spring. But yeah, that's everything for today. It's kind of a different um, update because usually I have rollouts on my updates but not today and I don't think we're going to have rollouts next month either because we need to make a lot of progress on these nail polishes but this is a project that I really enjoy and lately I've been really getting into nails like I really enjoy do enjoy doing my nails so it has been fun to have these products and trying to find new ways to use it, new combinations, new techniques. I'm not really good <laughs> doing my nails. I don't have really good pulse, but I'm enjoying doing that. So that's okay for me. But yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing. I would love that. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!